What is the nervous system in relationship to the acupuncture channel system? Well, if you're slow to answer or maybe you don't know the answer, then stick around because in this episode, I'm going to go over some details of the nervous system, how it relates to the acupuncture channel system, and how acupuncturists can use these theories to improve patient outcomes. My name is Dr. Jeremy, and I help acupuncturists like you create breakthrough patient results with the world's most cutting-edge electroacupuncture techniques. Now, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button now. This way, you can receive a notification each time I release a new training episode. And along with each video and blog, I, I give away a free downloadable training resource. And for this episode, it's called Key Points for Understanding How the Nervous System Relates to Electric Medicine. So don't forget to download it. Let's begin. So what are nerves in relationship to acupuncture channels? Well, nerves provide a pathway from the acupuncture channels into the organs and tissues because the channels do not connect everything. Okay, this also means that every other acupuncturist out there that believes the acupuncture channel system is a informative correlation to the nervous system is, is not taking into account our medicine, is not honoring the existence of the acupuncture channel system. In fact, my students have told me they attend a dissection course by a different electroacupuncture teacher. Now this dissection course on the very first cut, they slice right through the fascia and pull it apart and look what's below. They're looking for nerves. They're not looking for the acupuncture channel system. In fact, every time they're dissecting, they're ignoring the acupuncture channel system. Amsu says, Dr. Jeremy, are you saying REN1 starts in the fulcrum? Yes. Great question, That's Amsu. beautiful. Yes. That's yes. absolutely beautiful. Which which part? Uh, these images and the, what their findings were and what they're oh, missing. Oh, cool. Cool. Thank you, Joan. Was that Joan, I hope? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> So what are the most electrically conductive tissues in the body? Number one is the fascia. Number two is the epineural covering of nerves. Number three is the blood and fluids. Number four is the interstitium. What's the interstitium? It's the space outside the blood vessels. By the way, the interstitium should be at an 8.5 pH and it's a, a lot of salt water. The ocean should be 8.5 pH and it's a lot of salt water because the universe is fractal. Number five, and finally, number five is the nerve fibers, the central portion, the portion that most other acupuncturists are trying to addre address. Now, uh, don't get me wrong. We do, I do teach how to address the autonomic nervous system, how to address the peripheral nervous system leading to autonomic nervous system effects. So yes, we can absolutely address that with our medicine and we should, and it's written into the system. Remember, step one of diagnosis is which acupuncture channel is deficient or which neural level is deficient or which tissue is deficient, okay? But most important is the acupuncture channel system. We need to address it because no other healthcare professional is addressing it, not even other acupuncturists. And this acupuncture channel system is a power supply to the body. So yeah, we can add energy to the nervous system. We can add energy to tissues, but if we're not addressing the actual power supply with the batteries, then the patient will still need us again for further treatments. Whereas if we could fix the acupuncture channel system, if we can stop all the leaks, if we can fix their Gucci, yes, there is a path to true reversal uh, and permanent reversal of disease. So what's the least electrically conductive tissue of the body? There's a photo of it right there, the skin. And by the way, I said the earth 
is negative 20.8 millivolts. What's that mean? It means if you take a meter and you stick it into the ground, it should read negative 20 or greater millivolts of charge. And remember our machine, our new machine, you're adjusting it in volts. One volt is 1000 millivolts. So we're trying to raise it above negative 20. So even one volt is a thousand millivolts of negative charge. Kailani says, what does fractal mean? Yes. Fractal means that in one of my cells in my mouth contains all the information and materials necessary to produce a toenail, for example. It's the fact that everywhere we look is smaller and smaller or larger and larger, depending upon how you want to look at it, mirrored images of existence. So what'd you think? Feel free to place your comments or questions below. Now remember, I created this great downloadable resource. The link will be in the description area, so be sure to grab that now. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, click the like button, and if you have any colleagues that would benefit from this information, feel free to share the link with them. And for further information regarding my classes, you can visit www.electro-acupunturemedicine.com. I'll see you next time.